Hey, awesome A10. We're going to show you how to solve this problem. The problem Mr. Bujo gave us. And this was our question. Find the amount of grass sod in a meter square you would need to cover the lawn. So today, Liana and Kalji are going to show the rest of A10 how to solve the question using the grass method. First of all, we need to find the given information. Given information is all the measurements we have. The first measurement is 18 meters, second, 30 meters, third, 5 meters, fourth, 12 meters, fifth, 2 meters, sixth, 3 meters, seventh, 7 meters, eighth, 31 meters, ninth, 14 meters, and tenth would be 4 meters. How much, what is required of us? How much grass do we, is needed? Analysis. Steps. Step 1. Find the different shapes. Step 2. Find the area of the property. Triangle and rectangle. Step 3. Find the area of the house. Step 4. Find the area of the garage. Step 5. Find the area of the driveway. Step 6. Find the area of the circular fountain. Step 7. Find the area of the extra patio. Step 8. Find the area of Add the area of the two property, different properties. Step 9. Add the area of the house, garage, and the fountain. Step 10. Add the area of the property and extra patio. Step 11. Subtract the answer in step 10 by step 9. Solution. Square, garage, and patio. Rectangle, house, driveway, and half of property. Circle, fountain. Triangle, other half of properties. So these are the shapes that we're going to deal with and find the area of. So the first area is the one for the triangle. So it's base times height divided by 2. So your base times height is 4 times 31 divided by 2. So 4 times 31 equals 124 divided by 2. That gives us 600 whoops, my bad, 62 meters squared. For question B, this is finding the area of a rectangle. So it'll be length times width, and length times, and the length is 14, the width is 31. So length times width, so 14 times 31 will give us 434 meters square. So this part over here was for the triangular part of the property. And this one over here was for the rectangular part of the property. So for the area of a house, it's length times width. So it'll be 10 times 5, which will give us 50 meters square. For the area of the garage, it's length times width, which is 2 by 2, which will equal 4 meters square. For the driveway, it'll be length times width, since it's a square or a rectangle. It'll be 7 times 2, which will give us 14 meters square. And for the circular fountain, it's pi times... Yeah, yeah, pi times diameter divided by 2 squared. squared. So it will be 3.14 times 3 divided by 2 to the power of 2, which will give us 3.14 times 1.5 to the power of 2, which would then give us 3.14 times 2.25. Which would, which our answer will be 7.065 meters square. Now, in order to find the area of the extra patio, shush, Kalji, of the extra patio will be length times width, which will be 4 times 4, which will give us 16 meters square. Now, for adding the properties together, it'll be the area of those triangular 
property and the area of the rectangular property. So the triangular property was 62 meters squared and the rectangular property was 434 meters squared. So add those two together and you'll get 496 meters squared. And now you have, for step nine, I wasn't counting the steps, I apologize. But now you're going to add the area of the house, the garage, the driveway, and the circular fountain. So the area of the house was 50 meters square. The area of the garage was 4 meters square. The area of the driveway was 14 meters square. And the area of the circular fountain was 7.065 meters square, which will then give us 75.065 meters square. Even though I said that wrong, I saw it. For step 10, oh no. For step 10, we're going to add the the area of the property and the area of the extra patio. So the area of the property was 496 and the area of the property was 16 meters square. So add those two together and you get 500, 512 meter square. Correct, Kaldi? Now we're going to subtract the, the area of the outside by the area of the inside, if that makes sense. So the area of the outside was 512 meters square, where the area of the out, my bad. It's supposed to be the area of the outside is 512 meters square, and the area of the inside was 75.065 meters square, which would then give us 436.935 meter square. Our statement, our statement is the amount of grass you're going to need is 436.935 centimeters squared by Kaldi and Liana in 810. And sorry for all the mess ups. Bye guys. Thanks for listening and watching our presentation. Bye. Guys, I meant to say meter square, not centimeter square. I apologize. Bye.